There are many tools, analytics and metrics, that can help measure the performance of online journalism and analyze audiences' behavior. But when it comes to the emerging media that are VR and 360 video, the method to gather qualitative feedback can be decisively low-tech. Online, it's looking at comments on YouTube and Facebook. And on location, it's too often via in-depth individual testing, note-taking and questionnaires. Those are resource-intensive methods that aren't efficient or consistent, especially if you involve a large variety of testers. This is the challenge I hope to fix with my RGI project, designing a tool to provide immersive storyteller with evidence-based best practices. Steeped in design thinking principle, this tool's objective is to allow content creators to easily and efficiently gather audience feedback and test assumptions. The idea is for content creators to share content via a simple link to a sample of users of their choosing, whether it's with a colleague in the next room or with testers miles away. This will guarantee scalability as well as consistent result. As a creator, you'll start by uploading your content onto the tool. Then you'll be able to splice various scenes to include customizable feedback models. Thanks to extensive in-depth interviews, surveys and tests with over 70 immersive content creators, we've come up with several ways to gather data. Passive metrics, such as heat maps, are popular. Other suggestions include like at scale, yes no questions, emojis, and even a voice to text UI for users to answer open ended questions. All this will be collected natively inside the immersive environment to capture the tester's opinion when it's the freshest. This newfound data will gauge the user's reaction and behavior and answers the creator's doubts. The results will then be presented to the creators in the form of a clear, actionable report. After, they can then edit the experience to reflect the data and comment gathered and follow suggestions from the tool. These tests can take place before publication to help elaborate the experience or hone a final draft, but they can also be conducted after publication to identify successes or areas of improvement. Non-fiction content creators are the main user's base for this tool, but it's not limited to just them. We are confident cinematic VR and immersive advertisers will be able to unlock relevant data for their stories or for their ads. To sum it up, thanks to direct contact with audience member, iterating will be made easier for content creators. This will in turn lead to better informed storytelling decisions and ultimately better experiences.